What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today I'm back to bring you guys some more lore on the Warhammer 40k universe. Now if you don't know, there has been a new discipline revealed, and it's out already, for Chaos. And that discipline is called the Malefic Discipline. So in the 40k universe, more so 7th edition than any other edition that I'm aware of, there used to be a variety of psychic disciplines that you can basically give to your psyker and then they'll have a variety of psychic abilities to choose from. Uh, I believe there were like six from 7th edition that were in the main codex. You had your biomancy, um, pyromancy, telepathy, and there is so many more. And then they got a new supplement to the Angels of Death. And then you had Fulmination, Technomancy, Geomancy. There is a lot of psychic powers to give to your librarians. And with that, you had the ability to give them a lot of character. So for example, let's say you're, you were an Iron Warrior um, librarian, and you were very good at tinkering with the Machine Spirit. So that's where you're... I believe it was called Technomancy abilities came from, or say you were really good at utilizing fire abilities, so you'd look, you'd be all about the pyromancy. And then with 8th edition, like I said in a previous episode of, I believe it was for the Greater Wall, or... No, it was the episode where I talked about the Sonesh stuff. I said that with 8th edition coming out, they really streamlined a lot of the rules, and unfortunately, psychic disciplines were one of the things that they kind of dumbed down. So basically, we didn't have any disciplines to choose from. If you were a, li a librarian, if you were a psyker, you just had a single discipline. The librarius discipline. Which was crap. <laughs> There's no sense of, like, tailoring your librarian to be all about fire or lightning or earth abilities or maybe he's a telepath no it's basically just use smite because when it comes down to it that's really the best ability you can do and actually it became a thing in a lot of lists in eighth edition you would see like thousand suns being played with like three psychers and you'd basically just spam smite just doing mortal wounds here and there and that actually did really good in tournaments from what i hear but now Finally, we have a little bit of more, I guess, variety, if you can call it that, in the form of the Malefic Discipline that was revealed and is now playable in the brand spanking new Shadow Spear box set. Basically, everything that came in that box was new. New models, new sculpts, and a brand spanking new discipline. So basically, this is what they have to say about the Malefic Discipline. Masters of Possession have studied the profane lore of conjuration, learning how to draw forth demonic beings, tainting their surroundings with the mutating energies of chaos, and they can also blast asunder the souls of their foe. Basically meaning they can summon things, use chaos to morph things, and use chaos to kill things. So, I mean, it's something else, but at the same time, it's more of the same. Bring me back the original disciplines from 7th edition. That's all I asked for, and it can't be hard. Just implement it to 8th edition rules. But anyway, let's talk about the six abilities that you gain from using your Master of Possession. So the first psychic ability is called Incursion. This is when the Psyker rips open a portal to the Realm of Chaos, allowing the warped demonic citizens to spill forth into reality. This one's not so good because it's basically summoning demons. The warp charge is 7, and you can summon demons onto the battlefield. But the thing that sucks about that is if you're playing a matched game, you have to pay for these demons. And you never know what can happen in a battle, your master of possession might get killed right away in turn one, and you have no other ways of summoning your demons, so that's just a huge waste of points. Um, I definitely would skip this unless you could find some cheesy way of playing it, but 
I won't be doing this anytime soon at least. The next ability is called Sacrifice. This is when the Psyker uses a sacrificial soul to remold and repair an unholy demon. The tainted spirits of warpsmiths are particularly invigorating offerings to those demon engines that are in their charge. What this means is that if you get a warp charge value of 4 or higher, you can pick any model within 2 inches of the Psyker, and that model then suffers a mortal wound. From there, you can pick any other demon, as long as it's part of your legion, within 18 of the Psyker, and they regain wounds. I believe it's, yeah, D3 wounds. So, I mean, if your demon engine is looking weak, just take a wound off of an obliterator and add D3 to that demon engine. It's really good, especially if that demon engine is in combat. You can just give it boom spare wounds. Um, and the good thing about that, too, is if you're playing a lot of warp smiths, um, anytime you do it, it simply... Um, there's a mortal wound on the warpsmith, but you regain three lost wounds uh, instead of the D3. So just pit the, uh, what's it called, the Master Possessions right next to a warpsmith and then put them right behind like the brand spanking new Lord of Discord or the Lord Discordant. And you can, when he's looking weak, simply take out a wound from that warpsmith and boom, he heals three. It's pretty cool, pretty nifty, but usually you want to be doing damage, not healing. But since most demon engines heal one wound automatically, this might get annoying to your opponent um, if they're not able to kill him outright. Mutated Invigoration A wave of insanity and mutation flows from the Psyker's fingers, enveloping their demonkin allies with bountiful gifts. This one's pretty cool, because it's like a mini Chaos Boon table. As long as you roll a warp charge of 7 or higher, you pick a friendly Chaos Spawn, a Possessed, or a Cult of Destruction unit that's anywhere within 18 of the Psyker. And then from there until your next Psychic Phase, they get one of three abilities. Um, it could be either they get to re-roll the dice when rolling for Strength, AP, and Damage, so basically, if you're using the Obliterator Flesh Metal Guns, or Flesh Metal Weaponry, it doesn't necessarily have to be guns, you can get to re-roll when rolling your D3s, which is pretty cool. The other one is that you get to re-roll the dice when rolling for attacks, if you're a unit of Possessed, um, especially since you've got that Writhing Tentacle rule. And lastly, you can re-roll the dice when rolling for your Chaos Spawn's uh, Mutated Beyond Reason abilities. So say you wanted, like, an extra to your strength, and you didn't get it, you get another chance to maybe get that. Um, only good if you're using Possessed, uh, Chaos Spawn, or Obliterators. If you're not, don't even bring this, because you can't target anything. Next Psychic ability is called Possession. This is when the Psyker blasts away the enemy's soul so that their spiritless shell is left behind, ready and ripe to be possessed by a demon. Then that demon um, can then possess it, and vehicles are typically unable to contain the demon within, and they tend to explode. Um, basically, it's a warp charge value of 5, and if you get it, the AP characteristic of your Psyker's melee weapon goes up by 2. And then because of this, anytime you destroy an infantry character, you get to make them into a spawn, <laughs> which is really, really good. Um, it's like, oh, you're playing against a... Uh, captain with a power fist? Nah, I got you fam, you're my spawn now. Pretty nifty, pretty weird ability, but it's also uh, really cool. Also, every time your Psyker destroys a vehicle, in the fight phase, it automatically explodes. Um, which is really, really good. Um, exploding can always cause a little bit of mayhem if you roll the dice the right way. But yeah, let's continue on to Cursed Earth. The Psyker becomes a conduit through which the energies of the warp can flow, tainting the very ground and sustaining the demonkin that walk upon it. Warp charge value is 7, and until your next psychic phase, the invulnerable save of demons is improved by 1, as long as they're within 6 inches of the Psyker. Um, another really good ability, since demons always have a 5-up save, 
Now, as long as they're within six inches of your Master of Possessions, that save has increased to a four up, which 50-50 chances is better than nothing. Um, you can also kind of combine it with your incursion ability. Say you summon demons into the battlefield, they surround you, and then you use Cursed Earth. Now they're harder to kill. Pretty cool. Little combination there. Or if you're more on the killy side, the Infernal Power ability is your go-to. This is when the foul power of the Immaterium flows from the Psyker, imbuing the demons that reside within his followers' his body with even more greater ferocity. Warp Charge of 6, and if manifested until your next Psychic Phase, you get to reroll both hit and wound rolls of 1 for attacks by your friendly same legion demons, as long as they're within 6 of the Psyker. So, you know what? Forget about Cursed Earth, use your Incursion ability, summon some Blood Letters, and then use your Infernal Power to make them re-rolls ones for hit and to wound. That's pretty nasty. Just make sure you stay within 6 inches of your Master of Possession. And with that being said, that was the Discipline of Chaos, known as the Malefic. Again guys, it's okay, it's a little gimmick, but I don't really see much use to it unless you've got like an army center around demon engines and you've got your warp smith healing them up and then you can also heal them with your um, psychic ability just giving them a straight three wounds um, it can be pretty tough taking something out every time they heal well a demon engine heals one wound automatically a warp smith can then heal them additionally and then your master of possession as long as you're taking a wound off of your warp smith can heal them another three wounds so they're going to be on the battlefield quite often um, if your opponent is unable to kill them in one fell swoop but other than that i don't really see much use to it maybe incursions and stuff like that eh, well we'll see if you guys can think of any other tips or tricks with this malefic discipline let me know down below if you don't really care about this discipline, or if you want them to bring back the disciplines of 7th edition, also, let your voice be heard in the comments below. Don't forget, we post videos each and every day, so stay subscribed for more 40k goodness. This has been Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I'll see you guys next time.